say it's Christmas. And I want to say, thank, say you thank you to, you our to veterans, our... active duty military, and first responders for serving our great nation. Okay, this week, take a look at uh, defunct television networks. You're listening to the Chris Carlisle Show, hosted by me, Chris Carlisle. downloads last week. Uh, one was from India and the other one, one was from uh, New Zealand. And there was also three views on YouTube. National Chili Day last Thursday. WWE Women Superstar Bailey, former wrestling manager Jim Cornette, Chicago Blackhawks uh, player Patrick Kane, and Grug, aka the child or baby Yoda, Yoda were uh, trending. Woody Guthrie wrote the song, uh, This Land is Your Land. This land is my land from California. On uh, February 23, 1940, and we used to sing it in school after the Pledge of Allegiance. The song's Evergreen, the uh, love song from the movie uh, Star Wars Born, the remake, by uh, Barbara Streisand and You Out of My Life, the uh, version by Debbie Boone, tied for Song of the Year and the 1978 Grammys. Colonel William Travis called for reinforcements at the Alamo in 1836. Southern Methodist University football program got the death penalty for repeated violations in 1987. The song I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor wins the only Grammy for Best Disco Recording. And the last episode of MASH aired on CBS in 1983. That's what happened in history. Taking a look at the birthday page, singer and actor Harry Belafonte Singer Roger Daughtry of The Who, actor and director Ron Howard, his daughter actress Bryce Dallas Howard, singer Justin Bieber, actress Rebel Wilson, and actress Jessica Biel have birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. look at the defunct television networks. We'll start off with uh, the Dumont Television Network, 
which was uh, founded by Alfred B. Dumas in 1942. He was also the owner of uh, and founder of Dumont Laboratories, which was one of the uh, first uh, companies to make televisions. And it was the first attempt at a fourth television network. Uh, but one, one of their main problems was they didn't like, unlike ABC, CBS, and NBC, they didn't have a uh, radio network to get their talent from. And uh, some of the early television stations were sisters of their of radio stations. And uh, usually had the same affiliation, uh, but there no other affiliation that their radio uh, counterparts had. And also, some of du- Dumont's affiliates were also affiliates of the Big Three. And uh, pl- the FCC put on a freeze on applications for licenses because he had too many. And the number. Uh, Lasted until 1956 when they decided to shut down. Actually, they decided to shut it down in uh, February of 1955, and it went off the air in August of 1956. Some of the shows they had were Ted and Max, the original Amateur Hour, The Maury Amsterdam Show, Rocky Jones, Space Cadet, no, Captain Video. Rocky Jones is a detective show. There was also one detective show called The Plains Clothesman, where you, uh, where the, uh, where was, you never saw the actor play. It was done from the, well, let's say from the viewer's point, from the, you saw it from the detect, the character's point of view. There was also a, uh, show called, a program called Life is Worth Living with the, uh, the priest named, uh, Bishop, Bishop Fulton Sheen. And they also had boxing and wrestling. And it was also the first hour to show the NFL on television. And they had the NFL championship game in the uh, 1950, I believe. They also had a uh, Saturday game of the week. And some of the announcers became household names, like Ray Scott, who later did the Green Bay Packers games on CBS. Chuck Thompson, Chris Shankler, who later worked for ABC. Chuck Thompson also was the announcer for the Baltimore Colts and the Baltimore Orioles. Some of their affiliates were... WIFM TV in Birmingham, KDVA TV in Anchorage, KPHO in Phoenix, KARK in Little Rock, KFI TV and then KHJ TV in Los Angeles, KFEL TV in Denver, WTVJ in Miami, WAGA in Atlanta, WGN TV in Chicago, WBZ TV in Detroit, on Boston, WGBK TV in Detroit. KSDP in Minneapolis, KCMO in Kansas City, KSC in St. Louis, WABD in New York, which was their flagship, WSM TV in Nashville, KDBC TV in Austin, which was owned by uh, LBJ, KBTV in Dallas, which is now WFAA, KNUZ TV in Houston, now KIAF in yeah, Channel 39. The different stations. And uh, KNG in Waco. WABD is now the uh, flagship for uh, Fox station WNEW. And there would be no, uh, I'll be a fourth hour if no Fox came along in the 1980s. And there were some Dumont shows on a YouTube channel called uh, Breathe the Kine- Kinescopes. By the way, Fox claims the. Uh, other, also, other attempts at a uh, fourth network before Fox and a fifth, something at a fifth network before uh, the CW. By the way, Fox claims their uh, the Dumont lineage. Mutual, which was the fourth radio network, uh, considered going to television, but decided not to. Although there were some of their most other affiliates did sign TV stations. One that. There was uh, one uh, network that, well, got off the ground, but only ran for a year and only ran one show. It was called the uh, United Network. It was founded by uh, Daniel Overmeyer, who was the owner of station WDH-TV, TV, WDHO-TV in Toledo. And he uh, got some construction permits for UHF stations to be built around the country. And he meant it to be owned and operated by the network. Although he... Saw the majority interest in the stations, ABC Corporation, 1967, 
and he decided to create a nationwide hookup. Now the network planned to offer 8 hours of programming and would have news coming from the UPI. Some of the shows included Tales from the Great Book, Cartoon of Bible Stories, and coverage of the Continental Football League. He tried to make a deal with Mutual, to, but they rejected the offer, although three of their stockholders, almost 11 businessmen, bought out over Meyer and renamed the network the uh, United Network. And many of their affiliates were also CBS affiliates. The flagships were WPIX in New York and KHJTV in Los Angeles. But neither were owned by the network. WPIX was the uh, station that carried the New York Yankee games. Well, like I said, it only lasted a year. And I went off the air in 1967. They only had one show, by the way. That was the Las Vegas show, a talk show. Kind of like the Tonight Show, hosted by comedian Bill Dana. Another channel that lasted a little bit longer, not 11 years, to be, 9 years to be exact, was the uh, was Channel America. And it was uh, all of its affiliates were a low-powered station, meaning you practically had to live next next to it to, to pick it, to watch it. I mean, they had reruns on a talk show called Hot Seat. There were also attempts at a fifth network. It was a UPN, which was founded in 1993, and went on the air in 1995. So for the uh, United Paramount Network. Critics called it the Utterly Future Network. Now Paramount had tried to start a TV network in the 1970s. Some of the shows that were on the UPN were Buffy the ba- Vampire Slayer, Roswell, both later went to, the w- to its competitor, the WB. Star Trek Voyeur and Star Trek Enterprise. Their, uh, the plant Paramount work in the 70s would have included a show called Star Trek Phase 2 that would have included most of the uh, cast of the original series except for Leonard Nimoy. There was also the sitcoms Everyone Hates, Everybody Hates Chris, The Hugh Lees, there was a WWE Smackdown, and the uh, one season of the uh, original XFL it went off the air in 2006. The WB was also founded in 1993 and also went on the air in 1995. Its shows included Seventh Heaven, Charmed, Dawson's Creek, Angel, Gilmore Girls, Smallville, and Superman prequel. It also went off the air in 2006. And the WBN and the WB and UPN were merged uh, to form the CW. All right. Well, thank you for listening. I want to remind you to uh, hit the like button, hit, leave a rating, and a follow if you'd like to. Until then, I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Chris, and thank you for listening to my podcast, The Chris Carlisle Show. The Chris Carlisle Show is available on Spreaker. Please leave a like and a review, and also a follow. It's also available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Podchaser, and Podcast Addict. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. <laughs>